Thank you very much. Now, you're going to have to pardon me in case my phone rings. I'm going to answer it. Uh, our cameraman, Bert Dandy, is just about 100 meters behind this right now, stuck in traffic. So he's going to update us as soon as he gets there because, again, our hopes and our prayers are that this driver got out okay. Uh, so from that, we're going to turn things over now to uh, Winston as we talk a little online. And this morning, we're asking on Twitter, we're celebrating the 101st, 101st birthday 101st. of the traffic uh, light. So we're, we were asking this morning... Yeah, we're asking what is one of the worst. Uh, it's been 90 years since uh, Toronto had its first street yeah. light. Uh, the first one, I believe, in Cleveland, Ohio, 101 years ago. Um, and, and it makes for an interesting chat. I mean, what is the worst traffic light in the city? And surprise, surprise, we got quite a few. We, we're getting a lot of, of people. So what are they telling you? Um, well, I'm getting a lot of all of them are bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But then uh, everything from, you know, every single light along Highway 7, if it's a highway, it shouldn't have lights. Oh, I, You agreed I, with this I, one. I tweeted Omid back. Yeah. And I said, I cannot agree with you more. Stop calling it a highway if there are traffic lights on it. Do you know the 427 used to have a traffic light on it? No. You'd be going 100 kilometers an hour at Morningstar, which is just around the Finch area. Yeah. And there was a traffic light there. Yeah. They took it off. Highway 7, yeah, shouldn't be called a highway anymore if there's traffic lights on it. Yeah, I mean, and other expressways and highways like the Allen Expressway, you know, it's so short, and then they shove a traffic light at the end of the thing, and it just kind of all bottlenecks, and it spills onto Eglinton, well, which is all under construction. Okay, that, that goes back, my friend, to a day long before you. Uh, it goes back to the Bill Davis. Do you know who Bill Davis was? No. He was uh, once our premier many, many years ago. And that, that was supposed to be called the Spadina Expressway. That was supposed to go all the way so down. All the way it, downtown. it was the DVP of the West. Yet the folks, uh, they started to build it, and the folks who lived, no especially money. in the Forest Hill area, no, they said, oh. no, we don't want And they said it would have destroyed neighborhoods. I think they were right. I don't think it was well planned. Right. But they stopped it right there. Hmm. So now you have this expressway that stops and then empties on it. So it's a whole, there's a so whole, there, there's a whole, whole politics story. behind that. Yeah, but uh, in terms of traffic lights, I'm getting a lot of uh, motorcyclists also tweeting saying, hey, motorcyclists, uh, a lot of the, their time sensors and also the uh, sensor-based um, uh, traffic lights Pardon as well, again, switches. I'm, Pardon me if I keep it's checking this. I don't need to it's, it's, it's all good. Um, so a lot of the motorcycles aren't triggering the lights to change. Cyclists are also saying the same thing. I'm a new cyclist. I'm, I'm also yeah. realizing traffic lights aren't changing for me. There, there's sensors buried in the roadways, and they sense a change in the electromagnetic field. Oh. And they will sense that in a car, but even some small cars aren't big enough to change the light. In Toronto, they are putting some special sensors in for bikes and motorcycles. You'll notice, I know there's one at Oakwood and St. Clair. You'll notice three dots on the roadway, right just in front of the white line. Okay. If you park your bike on those three dots, it's supposed to trigger the light. So it's or all about placement. Yeah, it's all about placement, but very they don't really advertise that very much. No, they shouldn't. And I, I've seen but, YouTube videos where uh, people have taken like universal remotes and programmed them so you could change the. I don't know if they actually work. I think in the no. early days you'd be able to do that, but probably not. No, so that's a whole different. That, those are the, the lights for special uh, strobe features for fire trucks. <laughs> it's, it's all, you know what? There's so much behind traffic lights that we don't appreciate. It's so cool. I feel like it's worth a lot. There, there's something called a scoot system that's in effect here in Toronto and that's yeah. it all there are a number of traffic lights that are connected that go like all along the lakeshore all those traffic lights really? are electronically connected they it it actually does work it really does it may not seem like it but it does but you still it's hate traffic big lights. Job. Big job. let us know what intersections you can't stand uh, Frank